because it's been a while since I purchased the Aztec La Prima bundle and I've only tried it in Assetto Corsa Competizione and WRC10, I've decided it's time to try it in Automobilista 2, one of my favorite sim racing games, especially after the latest update. Before talking about how La Prima feels in Automobilista 2, I'd like to discuss a few things I don't like about Automobilista 2, things that often block me from launching it and make me choose Assetto Corsa Competizione instead. The first thing I don't like is that Automobilista 2 doesn't automatically take the monitor's resolution. For example, if I'm playing on a single full HD monitor, this resolution remains saved in the game and if the next time I start it on my sim rig with the two monitors, the game will still be at the same full HD resolution and won't automatically adopt the resolution of the three monitor setup. The most annoying thing is when I switch from the three monitor setup to just one screen because the game displays the image completely wrong and I can't change its resolution on the new screen. Even though I can see the option tab due to the incorrect resolution, the mouse click registers somewhere else and it's almost impossible to change the resolution. The second thing I don't like, which takes away from the game's magic, is that after changing the game's resolution, it requires a game restart for the new resolution to take effect. It doesn't apply the resolution change directly without needing to restart the game. The third thing is related to configuring triple screens. Configuring them can only be done from the main menu, not in a race. To check the settings, I have to start a race, wait for it to load, and if the settings aren't right, I have to exit and stop the race, go back to the main menu, reconfigure the settings, and start another race. This process is necessary every time until I find the ideal settings for the triple screen setup. The whole interface feels a bit cumbersome and counterintuitive, requiring too many clicks and game restarts. And if I frequently change the sim ring I use for Automobilista 2, I have to go through the same steps every time to configure the game correctly. The Aztec La Prima is not directly recognized by the game and in order to use it in Automobilista 2 you need to select wheel under the type tab instead of direct drive wheel. In my case, if I selected direct drive wheel the force feedback didn't work. For make and model I chose custom and for pedal type I selected separate. Then I clicked on calibrate wheel to allow the game to calibrate the steering wheel. After these steps, I was able to configure the wheel and pedals to work in Automobilista 2. The Aztec La Prima has constantly delivered exceptional performance from the moment I first powered it on and it continues to impress me. 
It elevates the immersive and enjoyable experience that Automobilista 2 offers to a whole new level, surpassing what I was accustomed with Fanatec GTDD Pro and Moza R9. The force feedback is incredibly detailed and refined, and the torque power La Prima provides exceeds what I would need or desire from a wheel. Every nuance of the road surface and the behavior of the car is faithfully transmitted through the wheel. I can feel the texture of the racetrack, the subtle vibrations as I approach the limits of grip, and the forceful resistance when I encounter high-speed corners or uneven road surface. This level of feedback not only enhances the realism of the game, but also provides invaluable information for making split-second decisions during races. After driving on the same racetrack in both Assetto Corsa Competizione and Automobilista 2, I can confidently say that the force feedback provided by Automobilista 2 is more detailed, precise and powerful than what Assetto Corsa Competizione offers. If there are times when I feel the need to take a break from Assetto Corsa Competizione, whether it's competing against AI or in multiplayer, the same doesn't happen with Automobilista 2. Every minute spent in the game with the Aztec La Prima is simply a delight for me and I feel that the closest experience to real racing is found in Automobilista 2 with Aztec La Prima.